I think I could say I started painting in 1949 when I finished uh, school, when I got out of the undergr undergraduate work at school, I think. I would say, so, so that's for 1949, 59, 69, 79, 89 would have been. So it's about 44 years. Oh, you're a youngster. Just a kid. Just a kid. Just yes. starting to yes. Despite feeling as fresh as a kid, Robert Colescott has considerable expertise. During the late 1940s and early 50s, Colescott received his undergraduate and graduate training in art from the University of California at Berkeley. And during 1949-50, Colescott traveled to Paris and studied painting with Ferdinand Leger. Initially trained as an abstract painter, Leger had a major stylistic influence on Colescott and the figure was reintroduced into his painting. Another influential period for Colescott was during his tenure at the American University in Egypt in 1966-67. Colescott states, I responded to the art history there. The 3,000 years of non-white culture affected what I did. Increasingly, Colescott has become a major figure in American art. He's been exhibited widely and collected by the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Hirshhorn Museum, among others. In our Art New York studio, this venerable young kid talks about making art. I paint myself a lot because even, uh, and sometimes it's been, in, in some of the work, it's been rec quite recognizable that I've painted, put myself in the painting, my own self-portrait. But I think I, there are um, attitudes that have affected me a lot, and I paint about those things. I paint about my own responses um, and my own fears and my own worries and concerns. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's like whistling in the dark. You kind of laugh at yourself and, you, and your own attitudes and your, your responses and your fears, you know. So, so I, think, I, I think it's largely about, about myself and, and, and about my response. <laughs> 